The Oculus Quest released about a week ago. If you're not familiar with what the Quest is, it is an all-in-one, completely wireless virtual reality gaming system from Facebook. Now, I've had it since day one, been playing with it every single day. Now it is time for me to share my thoughts, feelings, and experiences with this thing. And it may sound a little cheesy, guys. I understand that. But I do feel like this thing has changed my life a little bit. And I'll explain a little bit more about that in a moment. Now, specs, cost, what do I feel about it? So there's two versions of the Quest. The only difference between them is how much memory is included. There's a 64 gigabyte version, and then there's a 128 gigabyte version. $400, $500. Yeah, the price is kind of high, but the experience you get, holy crap. I haven't been this excited with a gaming system or any kind of game in a long time. I've been using this thing for a couple hours a day, if not more. I'm just constantly thinking about this thing. It's freaking nuts. But the specs, before we really jump into my, my thoughts, the specs has an OLED display. The resolution for the display is 1440 by 1600 per eye. The original Oculus Rift had a 1080 by 1200 per eye resolution, so it is you know, up there. It's pretty nice display for sure. 72 hertz uh, refresh rate. It is using a Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 processor. A little bit of an older processor used in mobile phones, but I think it does perform fairly well for what we're doing with this thing. Four gigabytes of RAM, lithium ion battery lasts between two to three hours. The cool thing with that though, is the system does use USB-C in order to charge it. Comes with, you know, power brick, the USB-C cable. But if you have a power bank or a little portable power supply, you can plug that in to the Oculus Quest and charge it or play with it connected. I've done that a few times when my battery's gotten low, and it definitely saves you. But you know, it kinda at the same time defeats the purpose, because now you got a wire dangling from you. This thing's completely wireless. That's one of the biggest things here. Uh, going forward, we have six degrees of freedom head and hand tracking. So that's gonna be the cameras on the Oculus Quest, the little trackers on the front, and then also they're referring to the two touch controllers that come with the system. Complete all-in-one system comes with everything you need other than downloading the games. you got to set that up, start downloading stuff. Uh, this thing weighs about a pound and a quarter. For some people, they do say like it's, it's a little top-heavy, front-heavy. I mean, it's kind of obvious it's a, a VR headset, but everything's built into to the, to the front. The processor, all that good stuff, the battery. So, yeah, it's going to be a little heavy. For me, with my big head, it doesn't bother me at all. It also comes with a, a, a frame spacer, which I do have attached for people like me who wear glasses. So that was pretty cool. Very comfortable for me. Haven't had an issue. With this strap, which is pretty nice, it does have a, a little pull to it where it kind of stretches or springs, I guess you would say. And I'm pretty sure this is replaceable. If something ever happens to this, you can buy a new one um, and it just straps in. It's not like where it's completely a disposable thing where you can't replace this because it can completely come off if you so choose to take it apart. Uh, it can be adjusted, adjusted, has Velcro straps all around. Uh, the cool thing, there's the uh, looking inside at the lenses there. It does have like for pupillary distance, so you can kind of move it depending upon where your eyes, your focal point is, which is pretty good because if, if you first put this on and you have it too close or too far, the edges or even the image completely could be a little blurry. So it's nice that it has that. I've seen other sets where you can't adjust that at all. And that's unfortunate, but pretty cool that this does have that. Uh, it is a little cushioned. I know I've seen that some company is offering an even more comfortable cushion for this thing, which I might wind up grabbing one of those, but I haven't had an issue with this. Volume down here does have built-in speakers. It's like a spatial audio thing. It's pretty neat because once you have this on your head, it's like the sound is really good. If you have it completely up, it sounds excellent. Uh, people can, around you can hear it, so you have to keep that in mind. Uh, but it, it sounds really good. I haven't had any complaints. There are uh, 3.5 millimeter jacks on both sides of the unit. That way you can do like single, you know, in-ear headphone type thing. I know they sell 
a specific set for this. I haven't tried any. Everything's been fine with me for how it's set up already. Uh, it does have a built-in mic, so if you're playing VR chat and want to talk to some peoples, you can talk to them just fine. I think that's pretty cool. Power, uh, power button's right there. What else do we got? USB-C on the side for charging or linking up to your computer to you know remove screenshots and videos and all that good stuff. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything on the actual unit itself. It feels really sturdy. Uh, the front is you know kind of fingerprint prone. It's not. It's it's a matte finish, but not a big deal. I'm pretty sure if you're rough with this, it'll scratch up. But fingerprints don't bother me too much. Just got to keep you know taking care of my stuff and make sure nothing gets messed up there. But definitely feels like a quality headset. It also comes with the two touch controllers uh, with an A and B button and then an X and Y button and then the little side grip and a trigger for both and analogs on both of them and your little wrist straps so you don't throw them. I never would use wrist straps, but I actually found with this uh, playing like Beat Saber, I need to use these wrist straps because... At the same time, these take a, a, a double-A battery, I want to say, and it just slides right off. It's, it's, it has a magnet on there. It feels fine, but if you get a little rough with it, you can, feel, you can feel it shift a little bit. Like, I'm putting a lot of pressure to do that. In normal use, if you're gripping it, it it's not really that big a deal, but I do feel like to have a little extra stability and not to throw these things playing Beat Saber, which you're flailing your arms around, I do have to have these straps on to feel a little more comfortable with that. But I really dig these controllers. The tracking is excellent. You know, as long as your lighting is good. If you don't have any lighting, you're playing in a dark room, the Oculus Quest is not going to recognize anything. It just doesn't. Like a medium, like nothing that's too bright. Like I have a, a light right in front of me. Um, and lights above me in this room, it actually works okay. But if you have like a light too close to the, to the lenses on the actual unit, it can distort things. So when you set it up, you can set it up to, you know, every time you play, you can readjust things you can set it up for stationary play, like sitting down, like how I am right now playing like these, uh, roller coaster games. Um, or you can do standing up. Or the really cool thing, like when you stand up, you can have it set up and it just has like a little barrier around you uh, and you don't move around too much. You can maybe take a few steps, maybe two or three steps to the left, right, up and, and back or forward and back and you're fine. But if you're playing in a pretty large room that doesn't have a lot of obstructions, you can play like a room scale thing, which is pretty cool. Uh, the system will recognize the floor, but if it's not exactly where it's supposed to be, it'll show you like almost like a black and white like image. Just looking through it, the cameras pick up everything around you so you can see the floor and all that. And it'll ask you to confirm the level of the floor. If it's not right, you can put a controller down on the ground and it'll readjust. No, okay, that's where the floor is. And then you can use one of the controllers and draw a boundary around you. Now, the really cool thing with that is, is if you're in a game, any game doesn't matter, and you're walking around a little bit, like Creed, you can actually walk around the ring, which is pretty crazy. It's not 100% perfect, because between rounds, it, it does kind of readjust and it messes you up, so I wouldn't recommend walking around too much in certain games, um, but if you go outside your boundary that you drew... All of a sudden, the real world world comes into view so you can see everything. You can see the walls in front of you. You can see the floor. You can see your kids running around or, or whatever, right? And it, it, it's, a, it's a nice little safety guard to give you some freedom of movement, but also at the same time not break anything or hurt yourself. I found that damn awesome. And for sure, that's a, a, a great step. It's also, you know, the future of VR, that's like... I know that's what's on my thumbnail, the future of virtual reality, and I really do believe that. Wireless, all-in-one systems, that, you know, this definitely is a, is, is a great step. It's not 100% perfect, and there will always be improvements. That's what I'm really looking forward to. I'm extremely enjoying this, the way these games play, the immersion. It's freaking nuts, and I see this as the first step to the future of VR. I don't want to be tethered. I don't want to be wired into anything. I don't use my PlayStation VR as much as I would like to because of the cumbersome setup. 
having wires around. With this, it's just like, holy crap. I feel like I'm in Ready Player One. You know what I'm saying? And even though that movie kind of, you know, you see people running around with headsets on on the street, it just seems nuts. Like, that's that's a little unrealistic, wouldn't you think? But this really, without the wires and how comfortable it is to me, the immersion is beyond anything I've experienced before. I've had a lot of experiences with VR, and that's the biggest thing is cutting out the wires. Now, like I said earlier, it may sound a little bit cheesy, but at the same time, I do feel like this is a life-changing device for me. Playing Beat Saber, I may not be the greatest. I've never played Beat Saber before, not going to lie. Creed, I know it's not a new game. I know none of these games are really new, but they are freaking the physical as heck. I'm a big dude. I'm a fat guy. Holy crap. And I've gotten lazier over a, maybe about the past year. Look at pictures of myself, and I'm like, damn, man, I've, I've, I've packed on a few little extra cheeks, chin, belly, you know what I'm saying? I'm sore. I'm sore as hell from playing Beat Saber and Creed every day. I feel like I'm getting a workout. I feel like I'm burning calories. I'm sweating. It's been pretty cool, man. I have the windows open. I'm sweating my ass off, and yeah, I might be a big guy, but I'm not one of those really out of shape people who just walk up the steps a couple stairs and get winded and can't breathe and start just sweating all over the place. That's not really me. I got to put in some work to start sweating. And wow, I do feel like I'm getting a workout with this thing. And the cost, the price of admission, the $500 I spent is a lot of money. I'm not a rich guy. My main income source is YouTube right now. I make a little bit of money, not much. My wife works and you know, we don't, we don't really struggle, but we, you know, we're not extremely well off at the same time. So buying something like this is definitely a big thing. Spending $500 on one unit, especially a video game type thing. That's a, that's a tough pill to swallow when you're taking care of kids, paying, you know, rent and paying car payments, feeding five people, that kind of thing. It's, it's something that you had to really think about. I did have an opportunity to sell some things that I had duplicates of, make some money to where it was a wash. If I wasn't able to do that, I probably wouldn't have gotten this thing right now until I you know, was a little more comfortable with money. But holy crap, I am very happy to have you know, made those sales, gotten rid of a few items to buy this. It's fun. Doing like the big screen VR where you're sitting in like a theater watching people's movies off of their PC. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a little fishy with that. If you ever check out big screen VR, um, I was in there watching Attack on Titan in a crowd. It looked like you were in an actual movie theater. That's how, you know, the immersion was. Yeah, the characters look stupid as heck. You know, it's not capable. None of these games or the system is capable of rendering, you know, lifelike fat cheeks and, and whatnot. You know what I mean? So you're going to have cartoony looking graphics with a lot of things. But it's cool. It was really awesome to look around, see other people's avatars, talk to people. Like I said, included microphone. You don't have to attach headphones. You don't have to attach a microphone. Everything is just there, but just to chill with people. You could talk to friends across you know, the world. You can hang out with friends in virtual reality. It's kind of weird. You know what I mean? Like, are we getting away from real reality with stuff like this? I wouldn't necessarily say so, but it still can connect people, bring people together. And I think that's really awesome. You know, VR chat was always something I remember watching videos of, of, you know, do you know the way that kind of crap and just laughing how stupid it was. And I've jumped in the VR chat and I'm like, this is, this is pretty dumb, but at the same time, it's dumb, but it's amazing to be able to interact with people. I mean, the games that are released right now for this system, they're not like, like the most amazing things ever. I'm really digging Beat Saber. I know the Oculus Quest version is gimped a little bit. Uh, you can't add songs, that kind of thing. And the selection of music. Now, this is this is one thing. The selection of music with Beat Saber, not a single song that I like. Not a single one. But when you're having fun and it's a music rhythm type of game, the music doesn't matter. Like, you just get into it. And that's how I feel with Beat Saber. I don't care about the music, but you get into it and you start really loving it and enjoying it. Busting out in that sweat. It's freaking nuts. This thing is is something I look forward to every day right now. It's you know it's kind of 
it sucks, but at the same time, it's kind of nice. It only has a two to three hour uh, play time because I could see just, man, being on this thing all the time. I have a family. I have other responsibilities, so I can't do that. But when wife's at work, kids are at school, that kind of thing, jump on there, got some time to myself, boom, I'm playing some games, and it is freaking fun. Getting that workout in is a huge thing for me. My God, I've had a gym membership for years. I don't take my fat ass to the gym, but I could strap this thing on and get a little bit of a cardio workout there, and it feels good. So that's a big benefit in my eyes, a big benefit. Like I said, a little cheesy about the life-changing thing, but at the same time, there were so many people back in the day losing weight, getting in the shape, really getting some cardio in, playing you know DDR and stuff like that. And this kind of reminds me of that. You know, back when DDR was out, I wasn't a fat guy. So I really, you know, it wasn't like, oh man, like I can get some exercise in this thing. But now being out of shape, just being honest, yeah, you know, I people on my channel all the time in comments, oh, you fat bastard. Dude, I know I'm I'm a fat guy. But wow, to be a fat guy, play a game and get some exercise, it feels amazing. And I was never one of those people. I hated the Wii. I mean, I didn't really hate the Wii, but I didn't like the games where you had to you know, wag your hands around. So why is it different with this? That is, it's, it's the virtual reality. It's the immersion that really feels good and actually is enjoyable to me. Playing like Legend of Zelda on the, on the Wii and, and doing this, that didn't do it for me. That was annoying as heck. Playing Star Wars and holding a lightsaber and fighting things, holy crap. You're immersed playing Beat Saber. I never knew this. I don't know if this is the way it is on other devices. It probably is. But holy crap, was I amazed having, you know, the, the sabers in your hand and touching them. What? And hitting them? And you could feel it in the damn controllers like you actually have some sabers? That is freaking nuts. I don't know how to explain it. It's like a rumble, but it's like an HD motion rumble type thing like with the Switch. You could feel it. The frick is that? That is nuts, man. This this stuff is amazing to me. I'm I'm thrilled to have this thing. You, you know, I've had my kids try it. My wife hasn't tried it yet. My kids are like, this is awesome. And yeah, I agree. Five hundred dollars well spent in my eyes. The other thing before we go, I did buy the uh, the little travel case. This thing is handy as hell. It's it might look bigger on screen. But this thing, it to me, it's it's not huge because the way the way you put it in there, it's like it takes up the whole space for the VR headset. And then you put the two controllers right there, and underneath that flap, you could put your charging cable and the uh, trying to get that on camera and the brick, like boom, right in there. And then just take this. Oh man, I'm breaking stuff. Don't want to break that. That's a pretty expensive system too. Zipper up carrier around like this was like 40 bucks and it was extremely hard to find the one i pre-ordered on amazon day one says it's not going to ship for like another month and i couldn't find any in store anywhere but luckily i went out of town went to micro center and they had them i was like holy crap i'm grabbing one right now who cares i'll cancel that amazon pre-order but that little case is nice everything fits in there snug feels really quality it was like 40 bucks so yeah i'm i'm, I'm in it a little bit i might be out of my mind but wow the immersion is awesome, guys. This is the future of VR. Can't wait. You know, I don't want to see like a revision in six months from now that is totally better and all that kind of thing. You know, I want to get a little bit of life out of this before a new revision comes out. And sure, there's the new version for the PC, other companies doing stuff like that. But the wireless thing is huge. That's what I really am enjoying here. So those are my thoughts, my excitement. Yeah, I'm really excited about this thing. Happy to have it. And just wanted to share that excitement with you guys. So really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. With that said, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye and boom. Bye.